today I'm having my passport photo taken. So I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to get the best out of your makeup. Um, if it's for a UK passport, you can't wear really heavy makeup. But what you can do, so I'm just putting some lip balm on, is make it look nice and natural. Because this photo is gonna last me 10 years, so I don't want it to be easily dated. And I want to look good. Because I took a photo without any makeup on, and I looked too ill to travel. So I thought, well, I better do something about this. So I'm going for a medium to full coverage look. In this little palette here, I have mixed up my foundation, which is the Face Atelier. I know it's getting a bit sort of routine with a drop of their sort of sheer, uh, glowy, sort of opalescent, it's called Champagne Sheer. Um, and I'm going to use the e.l.f. stipple brush to apply. So I'm just dipping it in and starting in the middle of the face, just really lightly wisp it over the face. Let's take my hair back. I always start in the middle of the face with liquids and creams, with minerals, start on the outside of the face. And before anyone asks a question, that's due to the hair on your face. Um, this kind of liquid foundation doesn't need to sit under the hairs, but mineral foundation does, so you need to work in like that. But I want a nice, quick, natural finish. So this stipple brush is lovely. It's not very firm. I think a lot of people expect them to be sort of firm, like um, a flat top, which I have, like a flat top like this, which is stiff and firm. That's not how these work. These are soft, they're meant for delicate makeup application. So really lovely for liquids and like things like cream blushes or things like that because they have a gentle touch. If you already have quite a gentle touch with your uh, powder brushes and so on, then you may not need this. But I am just buffing it very lightly over the skin and you can see that it's very easy, it works in to where you need it. So around the nose, under the eyes, and up into the hairline as well. So that's starting to look much better already. The next thing to do is to cover any blemishes. I'm using the e.l.f. concealer pencil. Let me just grab my little mirror and just lightly dab over any blemishes. Just a light hand. is best. Like so. And just blend that in with your brush or your finger. It's a mineral foundation, just lightly, just because I want that extra coverage, just lightly dust it over and buff in. This is an Oon Mineral Foundation and when I first started using it I didn't like it but I think that was just in summer my skin was very dry and did not enjoy mineral foundation full stop so I felt it was a little unfair I started using it again and I have to say it is very nice. I do like the way it naturally warms, contours, covers, it's very nice and it's not too grabby which is good. So I've just placed that lightly over the face. I'm just applying a little eyelid primer over. Now, you must read the instructions for doing your passport photos. Um, it's easy if you go to a photo booth, but I actually use a website. I take my own photos, submit them to a website. They check them over, make sure they're okay. It costs the same as going to a photo booth, and then you get your photos that you've created at home. You just need a nice white background, a decent camera. You need to follow the instructions, upload, gets printed, brilliant. Um, and I'll be happy with this photo. 
I'm now going to pop over a light ash eyeshadow. This is number 16. It's a matte, sort of pinky apricot colour. Pale pink. And that's just to lock that down. It has a dual function for me, and then it kind of lightens up my eyelids a bit. Any matte eyeshadow which is slightly lighter than your skin tone for a day look would be great. Next up, I'm going to use a palette that I absolutely adore. I've been using it a lot, you can see. It's by Coastal Scents. I'm afraid the name escapes me, but it's their latest one um, of sort of seasonal colours. Uh, but this one, is, I think it's called a Nude Natural Palette. Um, and you can see every single colour in there I, I use and I would use. I think they're all incredible. So if you've not been lucky enough to get something like the Naked Palette, then this might be a really good alternative for you. Right, I'm just looking for a brush. I'm going to take a nice shimmery shade, so anything really from this sort of side is going to be my sort of overall sort of shimmery lid and it's going to be this top one in the corner because I do like the way it's not too glittery but it's nice, it's got a nice shine to it. Just pat that all over the lid. Yeah, it's lovely, it's natural, it's glossy. I do like it. So you can get all the instructions for how your photo should look from your passport office website or ring them up and ask. Um, but I prefer to do mine at home. Now, the second colour I'm going to use is just, um, I'm going to start on the outer corner and I'm going to use this darkest brown. And they're very, very pigmented. So pick your angle carefully. And I use this method of just tapping and buffing so that I catch the outer corner at the right angle. So it looks nice and natural. That's the quick way to find. Then open the eye, flip the brush around so it's at the top, and buff gently into the crease and slightly above for my sort of deep set eyes that's the perfect kind of effect you can see what that's done already now the other thing to do and I should tell you this if even if you're having a makeup um, I'm sorry even if you're having your photograph in one of those booths take a massive mirror with you because, so this is me without the mirror, downcast shadows, um, it can make your sort of dark bits or your nose or anything, you don't get that lovely lift. Take a big mirror with you and pop it underneath and you can instantly see my face looks brighter um, and I don't have to use a flash. So when I take my photo, I'm actually going to have this pretty much just under my chin and out of shot so that I get that lovely you know, light under the chin, um, I get a nice sort of um, natural uplift to it and it's going to look a lot better. If you can't take a mirror with you, take a sheet of al aluminium foil which does the same thing and hold it just out of shot under your chin. So that's without, you can kind of see, and that's with, and you get a much better, much more natural light to the face.